I, I would say that like most likely that person is probably an altcoiner and probably trying to justify, you know, the, their investment more than actually speak about any sort of, um, you know, philosophy or, or uh, you know, theoretical rationalization of why we're doing or why we shouldn't be doing what we're doing. Because first, like Synonym is a company um, and then Slash Tags is an open protocol. It doesn't, it's not tied to Bitcoin. You could, you could use, you know, if you wanted to apply the Slash Tags method to a different curve, like PGP or Ed Keys, like they're, they're, you could use any elliptic curve to establish yourself, you know, as an anchor in a network. It's just, it's just the concept of using a key pair to sign things. So slash tags, you know, could appear in Ethereum wallets or other things like this. There's nothing stopping it. Ethereum uses the same curve as Bitcoin. And so it would, it wouldn't really be a stretch to see slash tags be a model that could be applied in altcoin wallets as well. So, um, as far as slash tags goes, it's it's generally curve or, or blockchain agnostic. It doesn't use a blockchain. Um, as far as our products and our strategy and our belief in Bitcoin, well, I, I think that calling an ideal is probably um, you know not fair because there's a lot of rationalization behind it. You could say maybe it's a theory or a hypothesis or this kind of thing um, that you know we, we could be wrong. But it doesn't require all the altcoins dying or even fiat dying for this to work or be useful to a lot of, to a lot, a lot of people. And Bitcoin is already like the majority, you know, cryptocurrency right now. And it always has been. And so it's like it's, it's kind of hard to argue it as an ideal when I'm saying, look, we're just choosing to focus on developing for literally the most popular blockchain, the oldest blockchain, the most secure blockchain, the most valuable blockchain, that blockchain with the most hashing. Like it, it's kind of, you know, obviously, you know, uh, friendliness aside, it's a shit coiner concept to be able to say that Bitcoin is an ideal or a niche, you know you have to basically be comparing it to like fiat currencies instead of altcoins. And at that point, you could say, yes, it's a niche share. Very few people using Bitcoin compared to the amount of people that use fiat currency. But the idea here is to like give people an alternative to opt out of the legacy system and create a new system where the users are in control. And I think that that narrative and that use case, you know, I don't want to say it's self-evident so much as it's very compelling and it's certainly useful once people decide that is something that they want to embrace. Okay.